Fears of a new global financial meltdown have been averted, at least for now, after weekend elections in Greece. But long term, who knows, because things are still very unstable. Greek voters have effectively rejected abandoning the euro by narrowly voting in the centre-right New Democracy Party. It supports the bailout and austerity measures designed to keep the country's economy afloat. Financial markets are relieved, but for Greeks, there are tough times ahead, as Europe correspondent Philip Williams reports from Athens. Today, the Greek people express their will to stay anchored with the euro, remain an integral part of the Eurozone, honour the country's commitments and foster growth. This is a victory for all Europe. Voters faced a stark choice, risk expulsion from the Eurozone by voting for the left-wing coalition Syriza, or support this man, Antonis Samaras, from New Democracy, with its promise to stick to the bailout memorandum that dictates more austerity, more cuts, more job losses. And by a narrow margin, they chose the latter. Rita Moritaki works at a bank and has long been a New Democracy stalwart. As far as she was concerned, this was a vote for stability, for certainty in turbulent times. We first met Rita Moritaki at a New Democracy rally. She was driven by a fear a Syriza government would force Greece back to the drachma and into economic ruin. If we go to drachma, I think that people may starve. I think that it will be too expensive. That's, that's my problem. I don't know if I can support my kid to have milk. I believe that right now we are not in the right time to have something like that. Even the food will be very expensive. You'd even worry that you yourself and your family could be at risk of starvation. Correct. <laughs> so really the weather's all you've got to look forward yes. to. Yes. Fear of catastrophic collapse also motivated Maria Venezelu, but she voted for Syriza because as far as she's concerned, life is so hard, so miserable now, she had nothing to lose. The, there is a problem all over Europe. Okay. Uh, the, these measures of austerity have not been proved to be really good for any country. So either way, it's a gamble? Either way, it's a gamble, yeah. It seems just about everything involving Greek politics or economics is a bet, with most of Europe, especially Germany, firmly backing new democracy. The direct intervention by Angela Merkel in this election has angered many Greeks. According to economics writer Petros Papakonstantinou, it's just the beginning. What we will have we will not be a united Europe of uh, equivalent nations, let's say, like what Monet or what Charles de Gaulle uh, had in mind some decades ago. It will be a new German empire uh, with a very strong uh, German Protestant uh, nucleus of the Eurozone and uh, a backward, oppressed, uh, in a permanent depression hinterland. It would be like what Mexico is in NAFTA. Uh, I mean, in a subordinate position, economically uh, and uh, politically uh, oppressed by Germany. Is, is that a humiliation for, for most Greeks? Of course it is, but uh, up to now, it would be also a humiliation if we had uh, to be thrown out of the Eurozone. For the moment, the Greek crisis remains contained, the feared market meltdown avoided, the risk of contagion postponed. But this is not over, and every new day brings with it new problems. Europe is far from fixed. Phil Williams,